Hey Don here. This is my video series on the XBMC solution for the Raspberry Pi by Element 14. There will be several videos in this uh, series, so catch them all. And uh, thanks for watching. Howdy, Don here again. Um, this is me run two of my uh, XBMC with the uh, wireless bundle kit. The uh, XBMC bundle solution, whatever they really <laughs> call it. Um, my Raspberry Pi is over here, you can't see it. Um, I've hooked it up to the VCR like I was talking about. This is how I do that. Uh, this is, of course, I'm using the front ports on this one, but audio, video, you have to set your VCR to on this one, it's in this VHS, so. Uh, you got to set it between uh, S video or composite. I already did all that. The pie's over here, not running yet. I'm gonna gonna plug them up, and we'll see if it boots right and if I've got it all hooked up right. I'll get my fingers off of the off of everything. I'm gonna be touching the back of the board really. Okay, let's see. There we go. Should be moving up now. There it goes. All right. Now, what I'm going to do this time is uh, hopefully you'll have a little bit better view. It's not much good way. I don't have a very good way to to video on this TV screen, but uh, you probably saw everything jumping when I sat down. It's, yeah, I got the laptop sitting on the bed and. Uh, looking at the TV pretending it's me okay so I got my wireless keyboard ready to go and now I think I'll be able to read the text it's still hanging off the side of the screen over here and on that side the top a little bit probably the bottom's missing a little bit what I had to end up having to do off my laptop is set it for 1024 by 768 that's the only thing that would uh, it leave little black bars at top and bottom, but you could get all but about a quarter inch of each side, and that's fine with me. Okay, so we'll get, here we are on videos. We're going to go to uh, system settings, and yeah, now I can read it. I was trying to read it from across the room before last time. You got in here. You got appearance, video, live TV, music, pictures. Weather add-ons, services, system. I'm going to go to system and video output. That's exactly what I want to change. Now, last time I couldn't get it to happen. That made it. I mostly use these uh, arrow keys and the OK button, but there's the mouse left and right over on the left side if you get if you're using both hands and you can well you kind of almost need both hands to run this you can do it with uh, one hand I did it if you lay it down I did that last time then there's right I believe it's right, yeah, right and left mouse and that's your play and pause buttons which I didn't even use last time because I wasn't thinking uh, let's see but the arrow buttons try hitting OK see that it doesn't start moving things oh would you like to keep this? Well, I don't know what I really did. Okay, refresh rate 60, that's fine. I could try changing it. I want to say yes. It doesn't change anything. Video calibration, what's that? Now, let me see what it says. 7, 2, 4, plus screen top. Okay, I can't read all the words, but it looks like it's something to do with automatic calibration, which the XBMC version that's on my Fedora 14 doesn't do this, so let's see. Oh, 724 by 480, 60 hertz, full screen, top left, something scan, composition, adjust arrow to change the amount of overscan okay oh overscan and you've got me there I thought I knew a lot about video resolution analog video resolution but uh, I don't really
really know what that is. It's changing the numbers. I don't want it to do anything, so full screen adjust. Oh, let's see. I think it's going through like a wizard full screen pixel ratio adjustment zero dot eight three nine I don't believe adjust. You see, I use this all the time on uh, the S video cable, and it's uh, easier to read than this. But it's still not that great, when, especially when you're a few feet away. Like I watch from about, I guess, 10 feet away, and uh, that's why I ended up using the laptop after a couple of years of using the desktop. I uh, decided I so I can look over at the laptop screen uh, to read things that I can't read. But uh, but usually what I do is get over there and set it up. I have that KVM switch. I just get over there and set it up before I sit down to just sit down over here to watch, you know. But uh, I can I can find the programs I want to watch easily enough. Um, but set up, you got to be able to really read it all, of course. If I had a newer TV with HDMI, this wouldn't even be a problem. But uh, but I can see why they use composite instead of S video because you know. Uh, unless you're somebody that kind of likes to tinker with stuff and you, you know how to set this up through a VCR to a TV, then you'd uh, you wouldn't be able to hook it up. Or if you didn't have a VCR, or didn't save your old VCR, you threw it out or whatever. You didn't ever have one. You're young enough, you don't know what the heck that is, <laughs> and which this is aimed at kids. So, uh, of course, most I would imagine most kids without a lot of money are going to have an old CRT TV like me. But anyway, that's beside all the most well, sort of the point. But uh, what was the point? Oh, the point was <laughs> the point was um, me wondering, uh, thinking, you know, back and forth between why didn't they put a first? I thought why didn't they put an S V S video cable uh, input on output on this thing instead of composite because it's not quite as good, quite as good a re high resolution. But uh, it's a lot more cross platform compatibility this way. So, you know, most of the old TVs have a, this old TV from the 80s, from the probably early 83, something like that, has a composite input on it and an RF, and that's it. So, go back to what I was doing. All right, um, full screen, pixel ratio, adjustment, maybe my eyes adjusted a little better, adjust the rectangle to its perfectly square. Oh! Okay, maybe this is gonna fix me. Okay, well that's not very good. Oh, that's not what they wanted. It was already square. So you're supposed to eyeball that? How do I know if it's perfectly square? I'll just eyeball it. That's all I can do. Is that it? I'm going to say that's it. Alright. Now what? 721 by 486. Same thing it said before. Overscan. Adjust the arrows to change the amount of overscan. I have it on zero. That's where it was last time. Where I left it. I... Overscan. I thought that had to do with some else besides the size of the screen. Thought it had to do with how many times the dots are scanned on the screen. So I don't understand why that's even here for me to look at. Okay, I probably hosed it up. Well, the size hasn't changed one bit. Enable LCD. Nope. I want to do that. Vertical blank sinking. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I th thought it was talking about. Left driver choose requires restart. Left driver. Let driver choose. Yeah, I want that. Um, but this. Uh, 
and every time I hit the OK button on that setting, oh yeah, I do have a mouse function. I tried this last time. Okay, I'm gonna use my little mouse function. I gotta get it. You gotta get this thing still to use it. Okay, now it's like there's no other choices in there. Because I know there was quite a few choices in mine. Keep what? Nothing changed. Okay, that just took me out of that. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was trying to look at the screen and do it, and I hit the uh, hit the left, right mouse, the bottom right mouse button. The right mouse button should still be on the right, I think. Okay. Of course, it would be a little hard. The way this thing's shaped, it they really ought to both be right there. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, they got these little ones up in here, and then these two here. I guess that's fine. It's just not the way my brain works. Okay, try this one more time. Try using the. Uh, as you can see. A grandma, my mom, who I'm setting this up for, would not be able to use this part right here. This is not uh, senior citizen friendly, that's for sure, this keyboard. But, okay, so what? Maybe I am a senior citizen. I'm not quite senior yet. But, uh... I don't know, unless this thing doesn't have drivers for any other size resolution in in the default system 722 480 uh 720 480 that's what it says 720 of course that makes more sense than 722 let's see it actually is easier to use the uh, tiny little if you're using the mouse with the thumb it's easier to use the tiny little left mouse button than the one down there on the edge because you want to drop the unit when you're trying to do that okay there's no other changes can be made I'll try it just happened now see if you barely touch that uh, mouse it goes er it goes everywhere that's why I try not to use it okay you also can't change the refresh rate. Tap. That works. So 720 by 480. And I need... Which is technically the size of this screen, but it don't fit. So. And I had the same problem. I had to get it uh, on the laptop. I had to really get into it and get it to change or maybe I should change something about the drivers I've left it on let driver choose let's see what else we could do maybe that's it because I keep saying let driver choose let's let me choose always enabled vertical blank sync oh that's vertical blank sync enable during video playback disabled oh well that's a different thing see that does work Okay, I got it over there, the mouse over there, and I'm using that left button, and it works fine. Always enabled. I think I leave it on let driver choose, and I've never had any trouble. Enable LCD IFD. Don't know what that is, but I don't have an LCD, so it doesn't. There's no other choices. That's my problem. So. I'm going to have to give up on that and just see what I can do with it. Audio output. It's actually set on HDMI. But I was getting audio last time just fine. Speaker configuration 2.0. Boost volume level on down mix. That's useful. I leave it like that. I, I, I had to set mine like that. It's defaulted. Output stereo to all speakers. Dolby. It seemed to me... Let's just see if I get my sound. If I don't, then I'll know I have to come back and set that. Input devices. 
Remote control. S remote control senses keyboard presses. Enable mouse and touch screen support. Okay, it does you can do both on that? That's good. I actually have a remote that came with a TV tuner record. I have two of them: an old an old for an analog one and one for a USB digital. But it would work on there if I plugged the. Well, one of them's a serial receiver. This other one is can't remember. Oh, it's built into the USB dongle, so you have to plug it in. That's not part of this project right now. Okay. Um, use a proxy server. Internet connection bandwidth limitation. That's off. Want to leave that off. Power sharing. Shutdown function timer off. Shutdown function. Shut down. Debugging. You could turn that on if you're trying to figure things out and you knew. Really wanted to get into it. Master lock. We don't want that. Okay. Now. Let's see, escape is my best, my way, I like to get out of this stuff, alright. Services, add-ons. Let's see, I can't read all that, even setting up here. Some. So I would have to, uh, what? I'd really have to get into the XBMC operating system and maybe in I don't know. I mean, you can watch TV, alright. You're not going to miss much, but uh, I wonder if it'll change on that bigger TV in the living room. I'll, when I hook it up there, I'll find out. But uh, we'll see. It may automatically, it seems to uh, try to, uh, or try, I guess. It, it it automatically set this resolution and it may be all set up to of course the other one did too but then it, it was wrong for this TV and I was able to fix it but uh, I'm still talking the resolution I'm in another I'm in the add-on screen let's see enabled add-ons if I didn't know the screen I wouldn't know uh, I'll click on it yeah it's oops back you got to remember how to navigate the screens enable that on it looks like it says enable twice is why it confuses me okay well if you hit escape it takes you all the way back to the very beginning oops there's an internet archive now yeah, that's one of my enabled add-ons it says music add-ons there. Yeah, it would be both. Information, program add-ons. Let's see. XBMC settings. Um, nightly build. Okay. Use DHCP. Yeah, I don't want to change any of that. That's all working. Nightly build. I think it gets an update. System. Okay. Get out of there. I don't want to mess with that one. Screensaver. Services. Don't have a clue what that one is. It's too short. Here's something information. This way I can really tell what I'm getting into is if I'm in a certain section. I'm going to see what that HW Clips looks like. So let's see, by group, by category, by category. Yes, yeah, see, I'm using it with one hand without even thinking. With uh, When you just, you know, you can do most things with that right hand arrow. I don't... Oh, I can read a little better when I get my head around here. Oh, tools. Of course, you can see the pictures. That's Apple, I think. Let's just go to go to that one. It's got a picture of memory on it. This might be interesting. Might want to find that and put it in my uh, 
still can't read it. I'm gonna play that. I'm getting a little worried about this being usable on a regular old TV. Because if you can't see what you're fixing to watch, it won't be much good. There's way too much to choose from to just channel surf this. You need to read it and see what you're going to watch. I don't have the sound on. So, how do you control the volume on this pad? Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, it's up all the way. I'm going to turn it down before I go switch my switch doesn't go very fast. You have to keep hitting the button. Now I'm going to go switch my switch. There we go. I had to, I have that, uh, I mentioned that before, I have a, a, uh, analog, uh, input selector switch, um, lose, I lose my words when I want to say them, um, but that's close enough. Oh, that was nothing. What the heck was that? They say clips, they mean clips. Preamp. I have a a. Uh, let me look. Dynaco. I got some cool old stuff. It's a Dynaco preamp. Oh, that's why I don't watch this. It's in a different language. Games, games, oh, it's about memory and stuff. Okay, now let's try out the, yep, that paused it, it looks like. Oh, that went plumb to the end of it. That's the, that's the left hand, um, arrow keys, pause button, volume, up and down volume, left and right. I thought maybe it would fast forward it, but it went straight, always shows that little signal go to the end. Okay, makes sense. One good thing about this is uh, if you're used to a normal keyboard, see I've never touched one of these wireless miniature keyboards before, but if you're used to a normal keyboard, it's enough like one, you can figure it out without having to read the manual. I do read manuals quite a bit, but I like to try it my, on my own first most of the time. So, I'm interested to see what went on last time with Internet Archive when I uh, ended up downloading a file. I couldn't see what I was doing. Let's see if it'll... Maybe Internet Archive don't want to work today. It's sure taking a while. Let me, there's a message there that maybe tell me what's going on. The add-on... Can't read it. Uh, maybe something has gone wrong with it in this version. It works fine in uh, in the one on my laptop, in the XBMC on my laptop. Let's see. Go back to uh, music again. As you can. No wait. I want to try out that other. How stuff works. Um. Uh, could install another one, I guess. It don't take long at all. <laughs> Stuff you should know. Blow your mind. Last time, yeah, it blew my mind. Stuff you should know. I see that on that website a lot. It's usually not that great. Mom never told you. Do I dare? Probably not. Stuff of genius. Yeah, he looks like a genius. As much as I do. Ok. 
Okay. Oh. There's only one show in there. Sometimes there's not a lot, or sometimes there'll be a show listed in some of these categories, uh, but they won't work. Uh, but then in a, day or in a few hours or a day or two, they may work. Okay, I see one picture that looks interesting. That's a very old drill. I have one. It was my dad's from the 1950s, and I've always wanted to... It'll run, but it'll shock the heck out of you. It has a steel case in there. What I found out is that the windings... When it gets old, the windings ground the case, and it doesn't have a third wire, and it'll, you can't use it. It'll shock you to death. Oh. Yep, there it is. This is just like my drill. Okay, I'm going to see if I can put this in my favorites and watch it later. Uh, uh, okay, the mouse, yes. I knew there was something. Mouse, there you are. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it's over. Okay, I'll pause it so that I can uh, get to the menus. Let's see, I forgot what menus or what. That's one of the ones off the screen. I think that's it. Bookmarks. Create a bookmark. Uh, it doesn't matter if it bookmarks it at the end or the beginning. Restart shortly. For what? Relax. XBMC will restart shortly. It must have crashed. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm trying to save a bookmark crashed. Okay. I have had mine crash on my laptop uh, from different things. So sometimes those apps, when you try to install an app or run or do something really fast, but it does come back up fine. It, and boy, this thing reboots faster. This Raspberry Pi boots faster than anything I've ever seen. BCRs course computers anything else yeah I think that just said look like it didn't look like a right IP address so it said that it had an, an IP address okay there we go videos files add-ons well ah, that was pretty cool but it was sure I guess I saw it all that stuff works oh yeah I wanted to let's try it in an archive one more time Oh, that's a big blurb. I could read a little bit of that. That's the big blurb about what the Internet Archive is. Non-profit. Backing up the... Uh, it backs up the Internet. Literally. The Internet Archive backs up the Internet. And it has an... Uh, that's actually in what they call... Um, way, way, the Wayback Machine does that, but it's part of the Internet Archive. But uh, this part with that, that logo there uh, is where people can upload music and video and stuff that they want to share with the world that they have the rights to it's you know it's supposed to be stuff that you either has no uh, copyrights like really old stuff that never never got copyrighted or your own stuff I have my like I said before I have my music on there but for some reason it ain't working oops wrong place okay let's uh, go in there more I think more will let you add. You can go to get more add-ons in a couple of different ways. Add-on categories. And that's them. Let's try. No. I'll go through them. Because I can kind of see it well enough this time. Well, let's go to the most common one. Find YouTube. Oh, boy, that thing went nuts on me. I didn't guess I was laying down on the button. There it is. There's two of them. Oh, YouTube channels and YouTube. Okay, now YouTube install. 26%. It almost seems like the connection's a little slow. Shouldn't be. Once in a while I do have to reboot my routers and stuff. It's been fine today. Hmm. 
I think it's done though. Yeah, enabled. Okay. Where did I go? I went back to there. Okay, yeah, now it's there. It escaped and it went back to the one I just installed. Oh, but that's not what I wanted. Settings. Or maybe you had to do that the first time. Well, I don't want to put in my username and junk right now. You can watch them without putting any in there. I must have just hit. I didn't hit what I thought I was hitting. Get back to videos. Install the add on. There. Yeah, let's see if it'll play. Maybe I should have just hit OK. Now, there we go. Search. Oops, what did I hit? I meant to hit the up button, but I hit the OK button. Okay, fine. I think I hit. This thing is. Maybe it's because I'm so close. I don't know if that'd make any difference. Or bouncing off this mirror, I might be confusing it. Because, you know, it's kind of cool because, well, I guess you can. Well, you can't see it right now, but my whole audio rack is over to the left. And uh, it's behind me when I'm sitting over here in the, watching TV. But I can aim at the mirror and it'll bounce over there and hit. Uh, that's probably why it's kind of acting a little funny because it didn't do that the other day when I was sitting over yonder. Search YouTube. Yeah, do that. Okay, the next one came up. I'll do what I tried to do on Internet Archive last night. Let's see if this brings my one of my my one and only slideshow up of my music. <clears throat> I'm searching for my user. We there and see now that's that's all my videos. Well, not all of them. Just the first three. I don't have hardly any. I always uh, say I want to make videos, but then I say oh, that's not good enough to put up, and I don't won't put them up. So, but now at least I have something that makes a, this webcam here has a decent resolution. So, uh, I'll probably start putting some up now. Okay, let's see how that, that should play just fine and dandy. Where's the volume? The XBMC usually responds a little bit faster than this. Most of the time. Just a slideshow to one of my songs on my first album. And I uh, thought I. Oh, I paused it. I was going to go to the end. Yeah, and then went to the end and it quit. Okay. So. Uh, that's cool to me. Uh, being able to find it, I mean, is what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, programs. There's BMC settings. I wonder if there's any settings in there that would help me. Ah! Yeah, I used DHCP. I was in there a while ago. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying as much attention last time. It'll enable surveillance nanny cam. I guess if you had a camera, if, I don't know if you could play videos and run a camera at the same time on on even the Pi. You could on a computer. Maybe you can. So, okay. Well, I don't see anything that tells me. Shows your IP address. Switch between sessions, huh? 
system config. You can put a password in there if you want. And probably be a good idea since it's going to be on the internet to change the password. Yeah, be a very good idea. Keep you from getting a virus on your pie. Because just because it's Linux don't mean there ain't no viruses out there that can get it. Oh, there's a lot more in that screen I wasn't, wasn't looking before. Yeah, all kinds of things to do with servers and... Oh, there's a lot of settings I never have noticed before if they're in my lap Fedora 17 version of XBMC. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, well, everything's working, so let's don't break it. Not right now, anyway. Not on the video. <laughs> uh, system... Okay, I want to go to music again. Well, the thing I was wondering... Oh, programs. I, I was in there. More programs. I want to see if there was... Something... Extra pack. Wake on land. Different things. I don't know what they really... Good for. I remember a lot of this. Fan art. CD art. I think I'm going too fast. Yep, went way too fast. CD art. XBNC commands. Yeah, you can run the command line. I think is what it is. Thought that was already on there. Form browser. Oh, now it's going all by itself. Got to give it a little time sometimes. Movie quiz. I don't know where I was a minute ago now. There's plenty in here. Something to do with the game. And you see, you really need to be able to see the whole left and right side of the screen. Because with these fuzzy letters and everything, you can change the desktop colors and all that. It might help to change it to... I don't know. White on black sheets look pretty good, but... Just the resolution is so... Oh, it doesn't matter right now. Lots and lots of other programs to add. I went through and put everything on there that I was interested in on my laptop. Can't really remember the names of too many of them right now, though. Okay. Pictures. Of course, you could add a source for pictures. You could add a something on your server or you could add uh, UPnP devices all that so anyway whether you know, I don't think it shows anything because I didn't set it up well there we go I guess I got it set up enough to do something 36.4 degrees Fahrenheit well it's a bit warmer than that here in Texas today where the heck is that Oh, now that's more like it. It is set up. It worked. It's my area. 97 degrees. I guess it had, uh, I don't know what it had in there, but it's right now. 97. Feels like 99. Cool. I like the weather thing on this. And I was going to play a little music and show you how the backgrounds look, but let's see. I don't know if it showed that good. What? Wasn't I in music? I was in videos. Add-ons. Music add-ons. Let's try... Archive won't work, so we'll try a different one. There's some free, and if you're not aware of them, there's some pretty cool free and open source music sites, too. Can't go real fast, can you? Does it change? There. AB Radio. I can't remember if any of those... There's iTunes. You have to wait for it to come in today. 
I don't think that well it could have to do with the processing power but I think it's got more to do with I don't know maybe I, I may have to go reboot my router but uh, it shouldn't be well I know on my laptop it's uh, core 2 Intel with uh, 3 gigabyte of RAM which is actually the fastest thing I've actually got and it's it is the only one that really runs X, the regular XBMC on top of your my Fedora 17 desktop really well. Uh, so it's good that it's stripped down uh, to run on a 700 megahertz system. Go back to the bottom and work my way up. I'm just going so fast compared to what it can uh, bring in. See, I'm moving it several times, and SoundClouds want no, no SoundClouds. Well, you can listen for free. You got to pay to put your stuff up there, though. Actually, it's got some pretty darn interesting. Um, let's just go with that. It's got some really interesting independent artists on there. You know, like me. People with no contract, no money, no uh, nobody knows who the heck you are. <laughs> Let's see, enabled. Yeah, SoundCloud. Let's see if we can find something to play right quick, just for the heck of it. Uh, I think it says groups, tracks, people. Okay. Start with. I guess I'll go to people. Search. I'm not on there, so I, I wouldn't know who to search for. I don't know anybody by name. I just ran across a few things here and there. Okay. There's usually a lot of tech. Technica on here Ting oops nothing happened on that one sometimes that happens on some of these that's what I was talking about before some of those well see some of the videos you you see a listing but nothing happens when you get to it and I don't know see when it goes blank or like that that I don't I don't believe you're gonna get anything let's get out of this section try something else Forgot what's the right tracks, try tracks. Those were just numbers, they weren't actually. Oh, this is hottest. It's hottest in search. Okay, this is supposed to be the hottest track on SoundCloud. Let's see if it plays. Yeah, something's coming in now. But there's also some. Uh, I don't know what it's set on, but I found some pretty neat looking background stuff to me. Yeah, this is the default, but that's okay. Okay, you can get out of there and leave it playing like that. And I think you can also make it, well, you can pick pictures. I don't have any set up, but you can pick up pictures. You can have a picture slideshow playing while you're listening to music. But there's one of these. Um, background uh, um, can't say the right thing but uh, background setups it uh, looks really cool uh, that one I don't think is so great that's the default okay I think I'm tired myself so and I know I'm gonna have to edit the heck out of this thing so uh, well that's my second run of the XBMC uh, kit. I like the little keyboard very much. It does take a little getting used to. But, uh, and I like the Pi. You know, I'm, I'm going to make some more videos on the Pi itself later. But uh, this whole review here is about this uh, XBMC Raspberry Pi bundle. And I think it's a cool little deal. Very much so. Alright, um, goodbye.